Hi, Coach. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Um, so we got some questions from the media here. We'll start with Percy Allen, and then we will go with uh, Maz Vita. Awesome. Hey, Coach. Congratulations on tonight. Thank you. Hey, I'm just curious about the defense that you guys played. Um, it was, I think I saw everything. Uh, I saw every defense that I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, if we don't confuse ourselves, right? So honestly, uh, depending on their player personnel and our player personnel, we just try to mix things up um, and keep them off balance without mixing ourselves up. I think our, our, our ladies did a really nice job of adjusting and, uh, you know, the reset button from Sunday till now was quick, right? And we had to get refocused on and leave Sunday in Pullman and focus on our, ourselves and making sure that we're locked in. And, it, you know, having our bench repeat everything really helped as well. Um, you know, I think it wasn't just the players on the floor that were big contributors. Obviously, they performed. But I think as a whole, our team was as focused as we've been. Hey, and uh, did you gain something? You know, I mean, obviously from playing them last week, it seemed yeah. that that you you guys, I mean, like that was the defense that you played late in that third quarter, fourth quarter last week that you couldn't play the entire game. But tonight, it, it seemed like you did it the entire game. Yeah. Um, you know, when we didn't get rattled after that first quarter, didn't exactly go our way, you know, and we stayed, we kept our composure. And we learned a lot from playing Colorado just a week and a half ago at our place. And, um, you know, three, maybe four players scored in that entire game. I think we got to the free throw line maybe five or six times and we turned it over 21 times. So we learned a lot. We watched film. Um, we learned to have a little bit more patience and poise when the ball was in our hands and to work for each other as a unit. And then defensively, um, you know, I thought we did a nice job against Colorado at our place, even though they won the game, but holding them to 55 points and, and really limiting Maya Hollingshed's easy touches. And so we just drew back from that and how we could correct ourselves a little bit more on some of the perimeter players. Hey, you had a freshman play her first postseason game tonight, and yet uh, I thought to me it just looked like she belonged out there. She played with a lot of joy in her heart today, didn't she, you know, and, or tonight it's so late. Um, yeah, she, uh, she, she worked for herself, but she worked for her teammates first, you know, and the ball moved, uh, she moved a little bit without the ball and, uh, she didn't try to force action. I think, um, she changed her speeds really well. And it's something that she's working with, with Tamara McDonald, my assistant coach, and, um, and, and she did a really nice job of just not getting herself caught in the air with no outlets. And, uh, and then just this last thing from me here, just um, uh, you've uh, been through this before, obviously two years ago. Um, as you go forward, what's the, what's the, what's the key now? What's the, what's the sort of trick to like keeping the momentum going? Continuing to stay together and play as a unit on both sides of the ball. I think it's important. I mean, UCLA is, is so talented and, um, you know, we saw what they did just a couple days ago and, you know, they have players that can, can really fly around and disrupt things. And so we've got to make sure that we stay poised with the basketball and dribble with purpose. When we dribble, uh, have better screening action and uh, having greedy receivers as well. And so the ball doesn't just stick into Mia's hands or a couple players' hands. So today we did a really nice job of sharing the basketball, playing inside out, and uh, just making that extra pass and looking for one another. Certainly keeping UCLA off the offensive glass. I think every team in the conference probably is that's the number one key when playing UCLA. Um, that's going to be a big component of the game as well. Awesome, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you. All right, up now we have Maz Vita followed by Nesto. Hey, Coach, you mentioned this word talking about the UCLA game, but poise, can you talk about the poise your team had this game? Um, just yeah. overall, on the turnovers and be able to stop that and make the shots. 
Yeah, that's been a big emphasis um, from Monday and Tuesday's Monday film session and Tuesday's practice here is to have that kind of poise. And today in shoot around, we talked about poise as well. It's been the word of the week, if you will, um, to making sure that uh, we're sure in our passes, uh, that we're dribbling with purpose, that we're pass faking, um, that we're not just holding the ball out on the perimeter with the ball over our head, uh, and that we're playing under control. You know, I talked to them about, you know, very rarely are, you know, are we getting to the point where it's five, four, three, two, one. So let's just make sure that, um, you know, that we're comfortable and confident with our passes, you know, and I thought we did a really nice job of controlling that um, throughout the game. You know, I think early on, maybe in the first quarter, uh, we had a few too many dribbles in the paint, and I think they dug in and and created a few turnovers in that first quarter. But I think we settled in and and uh, we passed the ball beautifully tonight uh, to one another. And then the intentionality to finish the game. Just talking yeah, about that, I, that's big, right? You know, and and uh, it took everybody. You know, it was great to see the ball go through the net. Obviously, Quay Miller, you know, shot the ball beautifully in the first half. It kind of got us going. You know, uh, Tamia, uh, Haley, Lexi. You know, it 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 was um, contagious. You know, and and they they made the extra pass to one another. They did a good job of pass faking and and uh, taking what the defense gave us. Thank you. All right, uh, Nesto, and then if anyone else has any questions, get your hand up, please, thanks. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, okay, so I think you already pretty much touched on the turnovers. I think it was uh, an improvement of about five turnovers. I think you had 16 today as opposed to 21 before, um, yeah. and you talked about uh, about that already. But one thing that I thought that I noticed was that there was 29 points off those turnovers. Did you talk about talk to the team about, or at least to, at least to Tamia and some of your guards about being aggressive off of turnovers? Yeah, certainly. We want we wanted to score early off of transition layups or wide open shots, you know. And uh, we did a great job, I thought, turning them over 20 times, and uh, a couple of them were run out layups, which certainly mm -hmm. helps the point production. And so we just wanted to make sure that. Uh, that we took good team shots every possession. And if that's a, a wide open layup, then let's take it. If it's a wide open three off of a, a kick, let's take it, right? But uh, I don't want them second guessing themselves ever on the on the basketball court or, or worrying if they miss a shot, you know? That's the last thing we want um, for them to worry about. So yeah, it was, it was nice to be able to see some defense turn to offense. Okay, and then also uh, just going back to Tamia's performance tonight, she actually had a, a two to one assist to, uh, to turnover ratio, eight eight assists, which was great to four turnovers. Um, can you uh, really talk? To, did you talk to her, or can you tell tell us about the um, improvement as far as maybe the decision making? Because uh, she seemed like she had the ball in her hands a lot, and she she did, made the right decision most of the time. Yeah, we talked about just being sure handed right with herself and and not getting caught up in the air. I thought um, the last couple of weeks she got going downhill pretty fast um, and got caught in the air without um, an outlet or with only one pass in mind. And if it got taken away, it was a turnover. Right. And and just playing with a little bit more pace. I thought she did a really nice job of changing speeds and controlling a tempo of the game. Certainly when your teammates are making shots, your assists uh, appear, correct? But uh, so that obviously helps as well. I mean, she is um, a talent offensively and, you know, her assists don't always show up because we don't always knock down those shots, but uh, she did a, a really nice job making a conscious effort of just taking what the defense get, get, gave her, you know, whether it was a pull-up jump shot or a three or a penetration and kick out pass to our teammates without making it an all or nothing type of pass. And she also had three steals. Uh, just generally, how has her defense uh, maybe in improved or has it been you know, pretty much steady the whole season? I think every defender improves as they uh, gain a better understanding of what's going on around them, right? Mm -hmm. And certainly you have to be urgent uh, you got to be in a stance and give yourself a chance, right? And uh, Tamia's learning, um, as all freshmen are, 
and uh, understanding, I think, uh, what we're asking of her and, and really learning as the game goes on. I think the best players kind of learn as the game goes on what the offense is trying to do, how they're trying to uh, start, start their offensive flow. So uh, it was great to be able to see her get out um, in the open court and generate her, some of those offensive possessions through her defense as well. And I almost forgot. How about Lexi Grigsby in her, her game tonight? She was, she was perfect, uh, perfect, right? Field. Yeah, she was perfect. Yeah. I saw some great some great defense as well. I think on the uh, the opposing player, I can't forget her name that that shoots from outside quite a bit. But she had a, a, an all around yeah, game. Foreman. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. She uh, she was awesome tonight, right? You know, four four three or three from deep. Incredible leadership. Um, she's a young lady that has been in our system for four years. She and Kayla Rooks. And the two of them could, you know, pretty much coach every practice. I mean, they just, they really understand um, uh, what's going on for the most part around them. And they're able to talk and direct and lead um, by their voices every day. So it was great to be able to see uh, Lexi and, and Kayla as well uh, play a nice ball game tonight. Great. Thanks, coach. All right, coach. Thank you so much. That's all we have for you today. Appreciate you. Okay. All right. Thank you guys.